See Ali, when you arrived five years ago and you leave now in a very different place here at the High Performance Centre with these beautiful surroundings, you came to us at Clifton when the club was struggling at the bottom of the Premiership. Just talk us through that transformation of the last five years. Oh, it's been amazing, you know, to uh, see the fruition of, uh, you know, the goals that we've set, um, the vision of this club and to be a part of that transition, you know, going from Bristol Rugby to Bristol Bears. Um, yes, it has been challenging, but, you know, it's been one of those journeys that I'll, I'll look back and, you know, cherish forever. When I first signed here, you know, I, I turned up, um, you know, and I did have questions of, you know, what, what was I getting myself into, you know, the environment that I was in at that time. And yes, it was challenging, and, but to hear someone like Pat share the vision um, of what he had for this club, um, of what Steve, the owner, wanted, you know, as players, it's easy to jump on board with that. And, you know, yes, you've got to have a bit of faith and, and hope for the best, but uh, to, to be able to follow Pat um, and the boys, you know, there's been a lot of boys that have come and gone as well that, that have helped build the foundation, you know, of uh, what the Bears are today. Um, you know, you've got the likes of Craner, you know, Ian Madigan, uh, Tusi, uh, all these boys, you know, that, that put that blood and sweat, tears, you know, into it. And uh, I'm just fortunate enough to, you know, learn off them and, and be able to, to help some of the young boys, the academy boys that are coming through now. And, you know, I know I'd look back at my career um, and look back at the Bears and, you know, um, be able to be proud of, you know, what, what's been built here. And I, I know the future of the Bears, you know, there's, there's going to be stars, you know, on that jersey in the future to come. And, um, you know, I'm going to be so, so happy, you know, to you know, next season to, to be on the sides, you know, supporting the boys forward. Obviously, I knew um, this day was coming, but you can't really prepare yourself. And um, obviously, it was uh, highly emotional, um, but just really being overwhelmed by, uh, obviously, not only the support of the players and the respect, um, you know, they've been able to gain off the players here and coaches and staff, but also from the supporters that have uh, sent, you know, lovely messages. And um, that's, that's something that I'll be able to cherish forever. Your connection to the city, the way that your family have been welcomed to Bristol, does that give you that extra steel to sign off with the trophy that we also desperately want this season? 100%, you know, it's been something that, um, you know, the city's probably been wanting for a long time and, um, that'll be the best way to sign off, you know, is, is to bring that silverware here to, to Bristol and, and make everyone proud, you know, not just the fans, families, but, you know, for the future of this city, uh, the future of this club. You know, I think that's, um, for us as players, that's, that's all we want to do is, is, you know, be able to go and uh, compete and be able to achieve those goals that we've set. You know, they say uh, rugby doesn't last forever, you know, it's a short career, but, you know, I've been blessed to do this for about 15, 16 years and, um, Bristol's going to hold a, a special part of my heart and uh, you know I, I turned up as you know a 30 year old thinking you know that I, I'd hit the pinnacle of rugby but you know I, I'm leaving here you know not only a better rugby player but you know a better husband a better brother and, and a better man and, and that's that's what this program does.